Newspapers have been an effective and accessible way for people to tell and hear stories on varying degrees for centuries. But as time moves on, the medium has seen some changes and challenges. Recently, Hepfield High School digitized the entire backlog of The Flash, the school's student newspaper, going all the way back to 1933. Hempfield students and staff, however, have shown that they rarely read this or any other newspaper. Not really anymore. Not at all. No. No. Still, newspapers persist. The Hempfield area is one of many homes to the community paper known as the Merchandiser. This is a printing and publishing company. It's Engel Printing and Publishing Company. So I work on the publishing end, and there's a whole print, there's a whole press room out there that is doing all kinds of commercial jobs. And I can tell you um, from experience, I get one of every job we print in my, just to look at. And I want to tell you something, we, print is strong. Also popular in Hemfield is the Lancaster County newspaper, otherwise called LNP. We have an actual, a highly devoted reader base. I've worked for uh, outlets in Scranton and Harrisburg, both of which had five to seven county regions. We have almost uh, 150 people dedicated to one county. Um, and I think that's what's been able to keep our print product stronger than, we're one of the highest uh, circulation print products in Pennsylvania. We compete with Allentown, Philadelphia, and Pittsburgh as far as circulation size. LNP is also known as Lancaster Online, with an emphasis on their digital news stories. We have more circulation on print, digital is smaller, but every print reader can also access the digital. So we have up to 54,000 people right now out of a county of 500,000 who can access the digital product. Anybody who just gets their news from Facebook or Google or the app is going to, or push alerts, um, is going to go with digital. What we're trying to do with maintaining the digital footprint or the print footprint grow the digital is to poke those and see where people engage and read the metrics and find out like how how they're engaging with us. The difference between physical and digital newspapers can be divisive, often generationally, with the Hempfield students and staff having their own preferences. Digital. Um, digital. Physical. Digital is annoying. Digital. Despite the growth of digital footprints on both larger scales and smaller scales, some still argue that newspapers should and will remain physical. I do not see print going away. People always said print is dead, but it truly is not. There's people who really like to hold and read the newspaper, and those people are going to go there. There's less distraction when you're reading a newspaper that you have right in front of you, rather than um, a news story that you're reading online. There's a lot of ads that pop up. It's Print is the most trusted medium for news. And the reason that is, is because it doesn't go away. You can't go online and just amend that. You can't, it's out there. The prominent presence of digital media is still causing the newspaper industry to make changes. More and more small newspapers, you know, local community papers like your Hemfield Merchandiser, are going away because it's very difficult. There's so much competition with digital. I think they both have their place, but I think there is, there's um, increasing concern about digital. I, I mean, I always have fears of like, what happens to the platform we're hosting on? Like, what if something changes? What if Facebook disappears? Like the idea that you keep your photos in a cloud, like what happens? I, I believe we'll pivot. We do, we have actually uh, made some changes, you know, it's, it's good to have the mix. You don't want to just be pigeonholed into one thing. I mean, we want to get as many eyes on our newspapers as possible. So if there is a segment of people that would prefer digital, we have that available. The future may be digital, and so is the past. Hemfield High School's digitization of their school newspaper, going back almost as far as a century, serves as a reminder of the linkage between the past and the future, while also proving that journalism on every level will prevail. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Sullivan Fogel.